Gibraltar just walked across the border. Uh, it's strange because it's completely surrounded by Spain, but it's owned by the UK and you can really tell it's British because the second we walked in, first of all, the border guy spoke perfect English. And secondly, there's all of these red double-decker buses just like in London. And then, of course, the road we walked onto is Winston Churchill Avenue. So they definitely don't hide that it's owned by the UK. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was funny that the second we walk into the country, uh, into Gibraltar you can tell Landing. we're on a big road right now which since Gibraltar is so skinny is also doubles as the runway uh, it looks like a plane might take off soon so we should maybe speed walk before they close this road um, but yeah that's cool how they do still have an airport and a runway even though it's so small <laughs> They're not going to trap us on the runway. We've ended up right at the edge of the big rock of Gibraltar. It's so weird to see it from below from this angle. Just to see it towering above. It's hard to see, but we're just walking down a hill. We're going to be along the beach in a second to our hotel. and. It's so nice here. It's so cool. I wasn't expecting it to be beachside, but I guess if it is along the water to Africa, there would have to be a beach somewhere, right? I just, I don't know. It seemed like a big rock. It didn't seem like a place that would have a beach to me. It's very cool how different this place feels from anywhere that we've been. We found all these stairs that we have to go up to our hotel. There was one path that was directly to it from the beach, but it's closed because it's around nine now. So let's hope that these stairs weave their way up to where we're staying. Here's our Gibraltar hotel. We've got the bathroom in here. This is definitely the nicest place we've stayed in a while, if not on this whole trip. Otherwise, yeah. The minute we got to the top of the rock of Gibraltar, we see some monkeys. Oh no, looks like he stole someone's water. Sneaky little thieves. There's one coming from the trees above. Could leap on us. They're everywhere here now. Oh, we found where they all hide out. Whoa. <laughs> Just shaking the branch. Oh, good night. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's so strange. It's just like a person. It's so weird. See where we're staying down here. Don't drop your phone. From just the horizon. Over there in blue. Do you think we're allowed in here? Yeah. I mean. Uh, on my phone. Please activate your phone. Oh. Ah. It's not fenced off, so. I'm pretty sure you can go in. One of these old mm -hmm. war tunnels. Wow, that is the most pathetic flash thing. Oh. Oh. oh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I wouldn't go in here and flip flops. Oh, no, that would be quite bad. What do you think was over there? I mean, probably bunks. What it looks like. Hello. Hi. Hello. It's a really steep drop. Yeah. yeah, told us there was a very steep drop. Wasn't kidding. But it's really cool because this is off the beaten path where all the 
tourists or and monkeys. There's no monkeys here. <laughs> oh yeah. It's very effective. It's hard to get out that hole. Come in. Yeah. I just get stuck with my backpack. Hold on a second. So this has been cool. Walking through a tunnel is dark so I couldn't get a good video of all of it, what we saw, but yeah, it's very interesting. About to lose the light. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to. It's very subtle. I'm sure the video won't pick it up. Yes, it feels very edge of the world here. Somebody who befriended a monkey that follows him around. It's pretty funny. He must work here because they tell guests not to do that because they might bite you. Um, I believe it's like the, it's kind of the air defense radar unit for, because it's basically a big air base this thing because it's literally just their chunk of the Mediterranean so they put all their air force stuff here as a little base to get closer to the Mediterranean for stuff like World War II. Yet another place Toby's too tall for, the tunnels. Yeah, wouldn't have made a very good guard. No, not if you keep hitting your head on everything. That's why they had all these helmets. Oh. Well, that wouldn't help. I would just make them taller. Just learned the interesting fact that shrapnel is named after a guy, Colonel Shrapnel because of this siege and the new weapon they were creating. The window. There's St. George's Hall. I think this is the main part of the siege tunnels. Then there's this hole. The that part sticking out there is called the notch. They were originally going to put guns on top on the outside and then they decided to hollow it out and put them inside instead. This is the Holy Land Tunnel. I think there's not too many things going off of it. Like there was for the rest of the tunnel. Looks like it's just the thing at the end. Where I finally had the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, there's people down here. Their movements are so human like, it's very strange. Oh, we can see Africa over there. That's cool to see a whole different continent from here and uh, now we're at the is it the Moorish castle yeah right now we're on the top of the Moorish castle so we get another cool view it is lower down so there is different things that you can see here for example like from the top we didn't really see Africa before but you can see it over here again um, I think that's just because it was cloudy earlier. Anyways, it is still cool to see things from a different place, but we are still going back up to the top, all the way up there. So, yeah, we have a lot more walking to do still. We basically have to go back the way we came because we had to come down to see the uh, tunnels and to see this castle. Now we're going to go all the way back to the other side of the rock and then we'll go down the, uh, we'll go across the skywalk, go down the Mediterranean steps, and then head back for the day. You were saying earlier that this is a Muslim castle rather than one built by the British. Uh, yes, uh, I believe it was built um, sometime early thousands maybe, and it was when the Muslims controlled this part of Spain which they actually did until the, I think, 1300s or 1400s when it was taken by the Spanish. But this is one of the few remnants of that time. There's a lot of stairs. What is, where are we? Are we lost? Oh wait, there's the suspension bridge over there. Yeah, we're supposed to be going to that suspension bridge, basically, which is along that bottom road. 
Are you sure? Yeah, this is the way up basically. Oh yeah, I see it now. Okay. Across the suspension bridge. I think Toby's remembered his fear of heights. You good now? Where it's less wobbly? Yeah. I may have not breathed during that. Huh. It was nice. Really look like real stairs anymore. Oh, it's much better over here. Looked like it was falling apart. Need something to cling on off this big hill, like that baby monkey. Whoa, it's the St. Michael's Cave. Wow. Different than the mammoth caves, didn't have all these disco lights. The skywalk. Mark Hamill actually unveiled this uh, the ribbon cutting using the lightsaber because he is the actor of probably the most famous Skywalker. And there's all these fearless monkeys on the highest point. It's been a long day. We are going to head to the Mediterranean steps to get down the rock, and then we're probably just gonna get dinner and head back to our hotel because we are both super tired. It's a lot more of a hike than I thought it would be today. We're inside a cloud right now. It's nice and cool at least. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and cool up here. The clouds keep passing. They're very easy to walk down. So are these the Mediterranean steps or are they just steps to the Mediterranean steps? Okay. Well, my voice echoed more than I thought when I said that. What? What's in there? Trash. Oh. It's not as exciting as I had hoped. You can record this entire thing and fill your phone full of picture. I don't know. Maybe. You could see the horizon line a lot better now over there. But this is great that the wind funnels the clouds at us. Much cooler. Yeah. I wonder if the monkeys live down here as much as they do at the top. I could see why. They're very nimble, can climb up this a lot easier than we can. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way down there. And then it curves around this rock face. Oh, curves around there. Okay, I was like, because to me it looks like it leads right into the water. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize we'd be going through a cave at the bottom of the steps. And these disappeared into the darkness. More steep steps. We found some mini caves as we were on the side, as we were going down the go Mediterranean. The same, Nothing too exciting in that cave. Yeah, there's a plaque that says it was it's really cool to see Africa lit up by the sunset. This is the ideal time to walk the Mediterranean steps, apparently. It's sunset where it's golden and not too hot outside. So we traveled 1.8 kilometers down the stairs over a course of 250 meters, um, which is, I believe, 
more up and down than we did while cycling on Corfu. So, oh. up and down combined. Definitely was easier than biking on Corfu. Well, yeah, we covered a lot more di distance. Oh. My hotel key card fell down there. Never to be returned to the hotel. At least we had a spare. Yes, thank goodness they gave us two at this place. Yeah. So I should probably stop putting stuff in my broken phone case. Phone was on my face the entire time. They're telling us to walk straight. I can do that. What did you just try to record? Why is my flashlight up? Oh, the Spanish steps aren't as close as I hoped they were. The steps, yeah, they're back in Rome. Oh, the Mediterranean steps. Wait, do we have to go up? Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, I think I said Spanish steps again before. Whoops. <laughs>